Hi everyone, it's Jean Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. So today I want to continue on my series on janitorial supervisor training. And the topic for today is the cost of poor communication. So there's a, a quote by Peter Drucker that says, more than 60% of management problems are due to poor communication. So this is really important for cleaning business owners to make sure that you're helping your supervisors with better communication, because there are definitely a lot of costs associated with poor communication. So let me just cover four of the costs that are attributed to poor communication. So we've got money, time, opportunities, and reputation. So let me talk briefly about each one. So the cost of money, obviously when you, when there's poor communication going on, it costs you a lot of money, right? Because if there was poor communication on a particular job and you end up having to redo that job, that's a lot of money in, in extra cost having to redo the job. In some cases, you might end up offering a discount to a customer just because of this poor communication. The customer's not satisfied, so you give them a discount on the service. Um, what about the cost of retraining? If there's poor communication between the supervisor and the cleaner, and there was something having to do with the lack of training, then they're gonna have to go back and retrain that employee, right? The second cost is time. So you've got all this time spent resolving the problem with your customers. So you're on the phone with the customer, um, you're having to resolve the issue, um, which takes more time, and then you have to get back with the customer to tell them what you did to resolve that problem, right? There's all the time spent correcting the mistakes, there could be a budget associated with this project. And so you've got time over the budget. All of that time, of course, increase your costs because of payroll. You've got lost opportunities. So what about lost referrals? If you've got a customer that's not happy because there was some miscommunication and things didn't get done, what are the chances that they're gonna refer your business? Not very good, right? There's also lost time and opportunity that you could be spending on sales and marketing. So if you're out there having to resolve problems all the time because of this miscommunication, then you're losing opportunities to gain new customers. And finally, there's a loss of reputation. So if you're causing, or if the poor communication is causing a problem with your customers, well, customers can talk. So if they've got people asking for a referral, they're probably not gonna say nice things about you. And these days, people tend to go online if they're really unhappy about something. So you could have a reputation problem if they've gone online and given you a bad review. The other thing with reputation has to do with your employees. So if you've got employees that have a, have a supervisor that is communicating poorly, doesn't give thorough enough instructions for them so they don't fully understand, and they're dissatisfied with their job because of it, well, guess what? They're gonna go online and say, this is not a very good place to work. So you can see, I mean, these are just a few examples. There's a lot more costs associated with poor communication. So I would really encourage you to spend some time with your supervisors, giving them some training on how they can be better communicators. We do have the janitorial supervisor training program available at the janitorial store. It's a very comprehensive uh, training program for janitorial supervisors and it's available in different formats. So I've got a link at the end of this video and there's also a link down below in the comment section. So that'll take you right to the program. Thanks and we'll see you next time.